With the ResMed AirSense 10 and AirCurve devices, the humidifier is on the right half of the machine or the right side. That is removed by simply pulling. And with the humidifier chamber on the end, go like this to open it up so there's some tabs there you release for opening that to fill it with water and there are fill lines uh, and this also works well for cleaning it which this top does come off if you want to with these tabs here um, for better cleaning of your humidifier chamber a mild dish soap or a mixture of vinegar and water are good choices harsh chemicals are not recommended simply slides back in that spot and on the back side of the unit, unit you have your um, tube attachment. And with your tube attachment, um, there's two options. Either you can use any standard tubing, uh, and, and I mean non-heated tubing, um, with that rubber cuff simply pressing on the back side of the unit, just like that. With the heated tubing, it's a little bit different. Uh, the heated tubing for the um, AirSense 10 and AirCurve You'll notice has the electrical connection and you just need to line that up with the connection on that that rear part and that simply will click right into position and for removing that um, you simply press the two tabs on the hose for removal the power attachment on the air sense 10 and air curve on the rear side of the machine is simply the round port with your cord um, that plugs in and your wall cord uh, simply plugs into the other side of that power adapter. SD card, if you have one, is right in this end piece, and it'll actually say SD, and that opens up. And if you have an SD card in there already, that's, that's fine. Otherwise, if you're gonna put an SD card in, it simply slides in with the label to the front until it clicks into position, just like that. To remove it, you just push in on it slightly, and it'll come out part way, and you can remove it. SD card is not required, um, but sometimes you, if your doctor um, asks for you to bring that in so he can see how your therapy is going, um, that's uh, you know, one of the purposes of the SD card. On this side of the machine, you'll also find the filter door right here. Um, that filter just simply lays in that bottom little tray of that door there and clicks back shut. Um, these filters um, can be washed under the sink with a mild dish soap and pat dry or air dry. Um, there are also paper filters out there available, but uh, those aren't washable. Um, with the AirSense 10, after you plug it in, uh, you simply press the, the start-stop button on the top of the unit to uh, start the device. And I'll plug it in here real quick so you can see a few of the basic functions and how to use them. Primarily the heat and the ramp function. So from your home screen, that'll come up here very shortly, um, SD card, that's fine. Okay, so we have my options and sleep report. Um, I'm just gonna choose uh, my options on the screen by um, pressing the push dial. And I can turn this push dial to select and go through the options in the menu. And what I'm looking for right now is run uh, ramp time. And there we have 15 minutes. We can change that from off up to 45 minutes and five minute increments. And any changes you make, Right after you get to your desired setting, you need to click that push dial again to set that in. And right after ramp time, you'll notice humidity level. Same process, you click the push dial to select your uh, humidity level and simply then turn the push dial to increase or lower that setting and then click the push dial again to set that in. So now you've set your ramp and your humidity level so you're good to go.